Hi, my name's Paige Smith, and I'm a part of the class of 2014. Um, I'm graduating this year, and I figured I could share some of my life lessons that I learned in high school with the upcoming seniors to class of 2015. Um, I've been a part of Airport High School for the past four years of my life. And in those four years, I made a lot of memories, both good and bad. You know, I had easy tasks and I had difficult challenges. But in the end, I made it. I'm here. I'm graduating. I have a, le I have a week left of school and graduation's right around the corner and I have so many mixed emotions. You know, I'm excited, nervous, and I want to cry all at the same time. Throughout these past four years, I learned a lot of life lessons that were in a bad way, and I don't want any of you to feel that way. So I'm going to share my lessons with you that I learned throughout these four years. My first lesson to you is get involved as much as possible. You know, you could look at some of the clubs in the school and think, wow, these are stupid. You know, this is a waste of my time. But you never know what you love until you try something new. Um, you never know what you might fall in love with. You know, that is completely out of your character. This is your last chance to join your extracurricular activities at your school. So, take advantage of the opportunity. Because this is your last year and you won't be able to get this time back. This is my first year being a part of Interact Club, which is volunteer work. And I didn't think that I would like it at first, because it takes up a lot of your spare time, and, you know, it's a big commitment. But just knowing that I made a difference in somebody else's life is comforting. You know, the stuff that you take advantage of every day, some people don't get that luxury. You know, any life is valuable. And you making a difference could be the difference between life and death for these people. So go out there and volunteer and do some work and get up, get involved in your after-school clubs and your extracurricular activities and sports. Because I promise you, it is not a waste of time. Another lesson I want to tell you is keep your social life and your school life separate. It'll take a lot of stress off your shoulders and it'll increase your work time. You know, it's your senior year. This is the most important year of your high school career. You know, this determines whether you have a future or not. And it needs your undivided attention. You know, you can't slack. Instead of sitting in class chit-chatting about what's going on after school or gossiping about who's dating who, take the time to work on what you need to work on because you have plenty of time after school to call up your friends and text your friends and ask them what they're doing. You know, I used to sit in class after I'd get my work, and I would just sit in tw on, pl on Twitter and play on Twitter, and I wouldn't get any of my work done. I ended up falling behind, and then the due dates would roll around, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to catch them up, and it almost caused me to fail because of that. And I don't want any of you guys to get in that predicament of not being able to catch up and being scared that you're not going to graduate because it's a struggle it's really hard to do to catch up all the work that you need to catch up another lesson I want to tell you is to keep the drama off of social media and we're all guilty of it we all have done it at some point and you know it causes nothing but problems between you and between everyone else in the school um, it's problems you do not need to worry about. It's problems that take away from your school. It's problems that take away from yourself, from your home, from your time. I am guilty of it. I have I posted beef that I had with this girl on Twitter, and it caused the whole school to get involved. And I said some really mean things and hurt a lot of feelings. And nobody really knows how sorry I am for that and how much I wish I could take it back. But I can't. It's something I have to live with. It's something I gotta deal with. Life is way, way, way too short to put time and energy into people that don't matter to you. You know, 
Why be worried about putting people on blast when the drama won't matter in 10 years? You know, you're not going to remember why you were on Twitter yelling back and forth to each other, or why you were on Facebook posting nasty pictures, and it just is a complete waste of time. The last lesson I want to tell you is love unconditionally, because you never know what can happen in your life. You know, this senior year is full of nothing but last. It's your last first day. It's your last homecoming. It's your last dance. It's your last prom. It's your last last day. Like, it's full of nothing but last. So take the time that you have, the time that you have been given, and cherish the opportunity to have that. Um, your class, you are a family. Most of these people have been in your lives for 12 years, every single day, maybe even longer, maybe even shorter, it doesn't matter. These people are your family. And it'll be hard, you know, losing all of them. Your last day will hit, and you'll realize that you, it flew faster than you ever thought it would. You know, it flies by. And you never know when you're going to see these people again. You know, you're going from seeing them every single day to never seeing them again. Not again, but... You know what I mean. Um, so, give people the reason to talk you up. Give them the reason to remember you. Because, you know, you never know what somebody's going, what's going on to somebody at home. Um... Talk to people you wouldn't normally talk to. You know, not only make your own senior year mem memorable, but make the other kids' senior me years, senior year memorable. You know, some people have crap lives at home with no parents, or they have addictive parents, and you never know what somebody's going on, like what's going on to somebody at home. So. You know, give people a reason to wake up every day and smile and come to school because you give them that, the happiness. You know, make these kids excited to come to school, although they don't, they don't have that excitement at home. Give them that excitement. I know that I lost my best friend this year. Her name was Chelsea Klesik. And she was involved in a really bad semi-car accident. And she was taken from us at 17 years old. That's Chelsea and her boyfriend Nick. You know, I'll never understand why such a beautiful soul was taken away from us so soon. And I don't think I ever will understand why. You know, she was my, my best friend. And it's weird going from, you know, talking all the time and hanging out to knowing that you're never going to be able to see her again. But I know I will see her again someday. And I know she's going to welcome me with open arms, but until then, i got to keep living. i got to keep doing what I need to do to get where I need to be. You know, shortly after Chelsea passed away, Nick committed suicide because he was so hurt from the loss of the love of his life. So just cherish the people that are around you still. Cherish every single person in your life because you never know when they can be taken away from you. You know, I cherish my friends, and I love them unconditionally. And then, since Chelsea passed away, I just never want them to go away, ever. I never want to lose them. You don't realize how lucky you are to have the people that you have in your life, so just take the time 
to tell them that you're thankful for them and everything that you they do for you. Well, that's my last lecture. Um, sorry I ended on a sad note, guys. Um, I hope you take into consideration the lessons I have told you because I had to learn them in the hard way. And I don't want any of you to experience what I had to experience because it was not fun. You know, so just go with it, do your thing, and you'll get where you need to be. I know you will. You all have a lot of potential. I see a lot of potential in this class. Well, I hope you all have a great year. Congrats to the class of 2015. You made it. Yay! <laughs>